Hey there, today we're going to go into the ease in and ease out functions in Premiere Pro. So you can see I've got this on the screen here, it pops up, it does a little pop and then moves over to the left while the text on the right comes in. So if you notice what happens here is it comes in and it kind of slows down and then kind of before it moves over. And what that is is that's easing it in and easing out. And it's much more noticeable if you don't use it. So I'm going to show you how I did this and you'll kind of see real quickly how it works. All right, so what I'm going to quickly do is just remove those from all of this. Okay, so I'm going to add a keyframe for what I wanted at 100%. And I'm going to move it just a little bit farther forward. I'm going to add another keyframe for what I want at 0% and then 75 percent so we can see we start out small we get large and then uh, we go to 75 and in that same process when we're at 100 i want my position to be here and when we get to where it's 75 i want my position to be off to the left here just a bit so normally this is what it would look like. Pops up and just moves real quickly. So there's no like smoothness to it. And that's why you add those keyframes. I'm not going to show you the text bit. We'll just focus on the book cover bit. So my end keyframe here, I want that to ease in. I want it to smooth into that position. So click on and then go right click and go for that one, we're going to ease in. The one before it is the one we want to ease out on. And I'm not going to worry about my starting one. Now for the size one, I want it to ease out. So I want it to ease out before it moves over to the left. And then at the left there, I want it to ease into that. So we're already starting to look a little better here. Still pretty quick. So what you can then do is go down to your timeline, double click on it to expand it, and you'll see we've got these little scales here. Okay, yours won't be showing it like this. What yours is gonna look like is it's gonna look like this. It'll just be a flat line. So in order to see those, you wanna right click, you wanna go ship clip, show clip keyframes, go to motion and then go to position. And now we're actually seeing those keyframes for the position. And then what you can do is you can click on them and you'll get these little handles here and then you can adjust and move those however you want. So this way it's gonna ease in just a little bit more on the final point and then maybe ease out a little bit uh, quicker. So it's real subtle, kind of hard to see there, especially when it's playing at speed. But that, in essence, allows you to play with those keyframes and how harsh or smoothly they're going in or out or what area you want to focus on. And that's pretty much it. That's, that's um, using the ease in and ease out function. Uh, I just wanted to do it real quickly for you. As always, hope you found that useful. Have fun, play with it, and see how it goes.